everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile for my Beelzmon deck. This is a deck that was definitely one that I was incredibly excited for as soon as it was announced and when the structure deck or the starter decks really just came out, I immediately got them and built a deck around them. Now the amazing thing is that this was an advanced starter deck. so far superior than any of the other starter decks that have ever come out and even the ones that came after it because it's something that sort of gives you almost everything you need as long as you get two of the starter decks together they made for quite a viable deck that you could actually take to very high tier tournaments and that was something that made it so amazing of course Time has definitely progressed, we've had some cards being hit by the ban list, uh, or at least getting limited, and of course with that we had to do a few upgrades, a few changes to uh, make the deck actually work out. So this here is my particular build, I'm definitely very keen to show you what I got, and look, here's the thing, this particular deck has so many different variations of how you could play it just because there's so many variations of Beelzmon out there and you could really just adjust the ratios which will lead to the deck changing up quite a bit in terms of its playstyle. But of course, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Of course, if you guys do enjoy this video, drop a like, share, comment, subscribe, even if you're watching one more video, it really does help out the channel a lot, so thanks for that. But with that being said, let's begin. Alright, so starting off, we're going to be playing here three copies of Yamon and two copies of Pagumon from ST6. This is a very interesting ratio that I find to be quite uh, helpful in this particular deck, and that's mainly because of both of their particular inherited effects. Now I will bring out Pagamon first because it is definitely something that strays a bit away from Beelzmon itself. But still very synergetic because the card's inherited effect is on deletion trash two cards from the top of your deck. Now that is definitely going to be very good but at the same time there is a specific keyword that is missing and that is up to. Unfortunately because there's no up to in that effect you are forced to trash your deck no matter what the circumstance is. So if I was to max out at 4 copies of this, I could really drain out my deck incredibly quickly and that could ultimately lose me the game. This deck I find that whenever I do lose, most of those losses are because I decked out. I've never actually really lost because my opponent's taken away of my security before. So with that being said, Pagamon is something I try to keep at a minimum, but it definitely helps out in the early game. As for Yamon, when attacking, if this Digimon has the Wizard or Demon Lord trait, trash the top two cards of your deck. It's a bit more specific, and so you kind of get a bit more control out of it, because at least in this case, you could hold back your attacks for the time being, and at least use your other Digimon that is not inheriting the Yamon. Moving on to the level 3s, we're going to be playing one copy here of Impmon from EX2, two copies of the one from BT2, and two copies from the one in BT6. So, the one from EX2 is pretty much going to be the best version of Impmon out there. However, that being said, it is limited to one, so that's pretty much all I'm allowed to play. But it is the card that really just gets you going. The BT2 Impmon just trashes 3 cards on the top of your deck if it is deleted. Now with this particular deck you are mostly going to be doing a bit of a rookie rush early on in this game as our strategy, but that doesn't hold us back from actually going into our actual Beelzmon plays itself. The BT6 Impmon just gives you a bit more variety by returning cards to your hand, but given that you can choose any of those particular 7 Great Demon Lords, in this case any of the Beelzmons in your trash, you could really get out of situations that you really need to by getting the card you actually need. Moving on, we have 4 copies of Impmon from starter deck 14 of course. This is just the one that really allows you to digivolve with a very low cost, which is definitely very nice. The next Impmon we have is the two copies of the promos, 
and I don't remember specifically where those promos came from but it basically just uh, has an effect when hit in security. At the end of the battle you can play one purple level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost. Definitely very nice because as I said earlier you are utilizing a rookie rush strategy early on in this game. And I'm also going to be playing one copy of the X antibody from BT12. A cheap cost and similar case you could also just get cards that you need from your trash but it works both on play and when digivolving as well. Now onto the level 4s, we're going to be playing 4 copies here of Wizardmon and 4 copies of its X antibody counterpart. So the Wizardmon is definitely very nice because when this card is actually trashed, you also get to gain 1 memory. Now when it comes to some of your option cards, which is going to be the Iron Marco, they are actually capable of putting cards from your hand on top of your deck. So with the control with the Wizardmon, you could actually set it up so that you can gain a bunch of memory. This deck is, although it's very simple, it does actually take very big brain plays in order for you to actually execute the best combos to win the game. And so it's easy to make mistakes if you're not planning things out correctly. As for the X antibody, it gives you blocker, which is definitely very nice. But at the same time, it's inherited also allows you to trash two more cards, which again, you're just fueling up your trash as soon as you possibly can. So with the level fives, we have the Baumon, of course, four copies from the starter deck, one copy from BT10 and two copies of the X antibody from BT12. So Baumon, again, it's similar in the sense that it allows you to just trash more cards. Every single version of Belmont here is capable of trashing either up to three cards or three cards forcefully. But that being said, still gets things going. You want to get as many cards in your trash as quick as possible, but at the same time, without you having to uh, do it so soon that you deck out. Hence why the Rookie Rush strategy to start you off while you're building up your trash once you meet those requirements, that's where you actually whip out those Bills Mon effects, which uh, will end the game. Now for something a bit fun here, I'm going to be playing the Lucimon Chaos Mode. One copy of this from BT7, an absolutely fantastic card. I really do love this because it is kind of a cheap way to bring out, considering your deck focuses on trashing cards into your trash, but it also allows you to clear the board as well. Alright, let's move on to the level 6s now, the main star player of this game. So we're going to be playing two copies of Beals Mon from BT2. We're also going to be playing two copies of the EX2 Beals Mon. The only thing I really have which is a downside for the Beals Mon deck is that the Beals Mons themselves do have very low DP, at least in comparison to a lot of others out there. But that being said, it's about their unique effects and that's what makes it so much better. But having two copies of each of these is definitely very viable for my deck. For the remainders, we're going to be playing two copies of the Beelzmon from the starter deck, two copies of the X antibody from BT12, and one copy of our level 7 Beelzmon blast mode from the starter deck as well. This just makes it so that I have enough of a variety of Beelzmons to handle every different situation that I possibly can whenever I need to. It makes it for something that is a bit more well-rounded versus something that's following a particular singular strategy. And that's the thing, depending on how you want to adjust your ratios or which Billsmons you're choosing not to play or which ones you're choosing to add to the deck, then you could really change up everything about this deck. And I do intend to release future deck profiles for Billsmon with pretty much near identical cards, but only by adjusting the ratios, I could actually create something that plays very differently from what I have right here. All right, so moving on to options, we have Iron Marco. We have three from the starter deck and we're playing one from EX2. This is the ratio I like, just because the one from EX2 is a bit more expensive, but having that memory set up, definitely very nice. The one from the starter deck does give you a lot of control, allowing you to actually place cards at either the bottom of your deck in any order, 
after you've added stuff, but also allowing you to then manipulate stuff on top of your deck as well when digivolving, plus gaining that extra memory. And this is what sort of synergizes with that wizard mod. So moving on to options, we're gonna be playing two copies of Jack Raid, just gaining more memory, so synergetic with this deck that trashes. Two copies of Mist Memory Boost, allowing you to again trash more. And we have Death Slinger, which deletes stuff that we really need to based on how many cards in the trash there are. And because it's so cheap to play as well, it makes it all the worthwhile. I'll wrap things up with Rivals Barrage, two copies, bit pricey yes, but it does have an effect when trashed, which makes it so much more amazing. In fact, it comes out for free if it's trashed. So that being said, it still does quite a bit for you and again, allowing you to bring more cards back from the trash, the ones you actually really need, it gives you more options, more flexibility and that way you can deal with any situation you need. So that pretty much wraps it up for this whole deck here. It's definitely one of the most exciting ones I actually have. This all really challenges the way you might actually perceive things running throughout this game. But tell me your thoughts, what do you think of this deck? Is there anything you would change? Perhaps you could share your deck profile. But thanks for joining me today, I hope you'll have a fantastic day, I'll see you all next time.